You come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? A person who merely watches the flight of a bird gathers the impression that the bird has nothing more to think of than the flapping of its wings. As a matter of fact, this is only a very small part of its mental labor. Hmm. To even mention all the things a bird must constantly keep in mind in order to fly securely through the air would take the better part of a day. The bird has learned this art of equilibrium and learned it so thoroughly skill is not apparent to our sight. We only learn to appreciate it when we try to imitate it. And I, Charles Kinnear, will now demonstrate the miracle of flight. Into the wild blue yonder, Marston. <laughs> Can I help you? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to share with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring through the heavens in flying machines so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle, but I assure you, everything I am about to share with you is true. Man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird. I am sure you think I am full of untruth, but I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claim. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. 